The 2023 Atlantic hurricane season begins just one week from today and earlier today NOAA released its seasonal hurricane forecast. Check it out. NOAA is calling for a near normal hurricane season a lot like we had last year. They're predicting between 12 and 17 storms, five to nine of which could become hurricanes and between one and four of those major hurricanes. This is pretty much in line with other forecasts for the season calling for near normal activity. But I'll tell you what, the key word of this season is going to be uncertainty. In fact, there has never before been a hurricane season quite like this one. Let me explain why. An El Nino pattern in the Pacific Ocean is imminent, which you can see here shown by the warm waters close to the equator. This year's El Nino may actually end up being unusually strong. Over here in the Atlantic, an El Nino pattern typically squashes hurricane development, but this year that storm killing effect is in a tug of war with extremely warm water in the Atlantic, which acts like jet fuel for developing hurricanes. So which factor will win out? Only time will tell. It's also important to note that El Nino's hurricane suppressing effects only impact storms closer to the equator. Meanwhile, farther north here in the Gulf and close to Texas, El Nino does not stop hurricane formation. Now, though Texas was spared a direct hurricane strike last year, Florida saw the fifth deadliest hurricane in the modern era. Hurricane Ian ravaged the southwest part of the state, killing at least 145 people. Here on the Texas coast, hurricanes are more likely to impact us during the first half of the season, June, July, August, and September. Meanwhile, later in the season, once we get toward the fall, weather patterns tend to change. Storms from late September through November tend to form farther east and also bend eastward away from the state. Now, the Texas coast typically sees a Category 1 or 2 hurricane landfall that causes relatively minor damage every 13 years. But we see a major hurricane strike, Category 3, 4, or 5, every 31 years. Our last major hurricane landfall was Hurricane Harvey in 2017, which caused significant damage like what you see here. To see the names of the storms on this year's list, you can find this article right now on KXAN.com.